this presentation is over Marshall Public Schools for ed effective educational systems. I interviewed Dr. Terry Lorenz, the Assistant Superintendent for Marshall Public Schools. All right, Marshall Public Schools is a district uh, pre-K through 12 in rural mid-Missouri. We have about 2,500 students. Um, as you can see here, we have several different buildings, um, elementary buildings, we have three, Beaker Middle School, we have one, um, Therapeutic Learning Center, we have a high EL population and a high free and reduced lunch rate percentage population. Description of the leadership strategies used by Dr. Terry Lorenz to implement effective educational systems are clear communication, persuasiveness, empathetic, providing feedback, setting goals, and promoting growth mindset. These effective educational systems, the district leader believes that contributes to our successes and alignment is our Grow Our Own program, where we have teachers in our buildings and our district that we are growing them um, to be what we want as administrators. We do book studies and we have a lot of observations and feedback. Here are some examples demonstrating why I believe Marshall Public Schools is and also is not from a high reliability perspective. We have safe and civil schools. We have been partake, partaking in this for over three years. It's been an ongoing process. Um, it, it ensures that we have surveys that go out not only to the staff and to the students, but all stakeholders. Making your idea understandable, Marzano believes that individual student interventions, classrooms, and it needs to also happen school-wide. All right, continual safety improvements on existing buildings happens through things like safe rooms, fob entries, double lock entries, scanning thermometers, research observation, and also, also procedural identification. So for level one with Marzano, we have safe and collaborative culture. We feel that Marshall Public Schools does um, have this level mastered. We have things like PLCs, time every other Wednesday that is protected for our teachers for that. We have PDC online and team meetings. Level two is effective teaching in every classroom. Our teachers can do this through using their instructional coaches, their growth plans with their administrators, and evaluation and feedback, which is very, very important in this district. Level three is a guaranteed viable curriculum, and this is where our curriculum has been written by MPS teachers. And I do believe that we are in level three of Marzano's HRS. We have pacing guides. We're aligned with the standards set by DESE. We have essential learning outcomes, district level assessments, pre and post. We're working on this currently. That's where we're at. Data collection and analysis, we have so much to learn and so many ways that we can go. But until we have our district level assessments, I believe that this is where we're at. So we can also use that data and driven by the triangulation model using MAP, EOC, and ACT. Level four is standard reference reporting. Our elementary does standards-based grading, one being approaching, two being on grade level, three being above, and our middle and high school is more stoic and they have things like posted lesson objectives. Level five is competency-based education, and this is happening through individual education that we're providing for all of our students. SPED and ELL. TLC is our therapeutic learning center. These students are able to go there and get the Marzano's hierarchy of needs before um, something, before they're able to have that education and learning. Acellus is a tool that we are using with our curriculum that has, has helped us to become more competency-based. We have MTSS, which is our multi-tiered support system that helps every student, whether they're achieving more or if they are needing to get help from something they previously learned. And also our Hoot Resource Center. And this is where students and community members can go to get extra support, to get therapy, to get a warm shower or a warm meal. And these are my resources, our two books from our, from our class, desi.mo.gov and 